Katy Perry has chosen to make a female empowerment anthem called Woman's World with an alleged rapist. And um, I am not a hater. Quite the contrary, I'm so upset at making this video. I don't want to be making this video. For some context, I am a singer, songwriter, producer, and a psychology student. Uh, also just like a decent human being who doesn't support alleged rapists. Um, but I'm also a Katy Perry fan from way back. I was rooting for her comeback this time around so massively. I was so excited for her and now I'm just really disappointed because she's, <sighs> she's literally making a women's empowerment anthem called Woman's World and she has chosen to work with an alleged rapist, Dr. Luke, on her new album. And now I just can't listen to it and I can't support it and I just, I'm going to get more into it and show you some more things. So I had seen a lot of comments from people uh, under her posts and everything uh, saying that she's working with Dr. Luke, who is an uh, alleged rapist and abuser. And um, I didn't want to believe that until I found like an actual source that that was true. But now I can't deny it anymore because Universal Music has confirmed that Dr. Luke is a producer on her new album. So I can't give her the benefit of the doubt anymore because that's delusion. Dr. Luke, whose full name is that, is a music producer who's been accused of sexually assaulting celebrity women. Um, notably, he's been uh, accused by Kesha of uh, sexually assaulting her allegedly and allegedly drugging her and allegedly abusing her and allegedly tormenting her and uh, all of these things and um, as a woman and as a decent human I cannot support an alleged rapist. Um, did I say that I'm a Katy Perry fan from way back. Like, this is not something I want to be saying. This is not something I want to be true. This is not something I want to be making a video about. But I I was so excited to listen to this new album, to listen to her new music, to root for her, to make her have an incredible comeback. I was so excited for that, for her. And now I'm just really disappointed because how can you be... A, a feminist, a women's rights advocate, how can you be a woman, how can you make a female empowerment anthem and then work with an alleged rapist? I don't understand. I also think it's really important that we don't dis delude ourselves into thinking that she is somehow forced to work with him because... <laughs> That is ridiculous. She's Katy Perry. She can work with anybody. She can have her pick of the mill of any producer in the world and they would jump at working with her. She's Katy fucking Perry. There's nobody who would say, I'm not working with you. Um, she could have chosen anybody. She could have chosen Max Martin, who is not an alleged rapist as far as I'm aware of and who has, they together have had so many massive hits. So that would have been an easy, logical decision if she would have wanted to do that. But if she really wanted to make a female empowerment anthem, I don't, she doesn't have to work with exclusively women, but she could have chosen a female producer. That would have been very Women's World-esque, what the message is supposed to be, but no. Out of all of the people in the world, she chooses an alleged rapist to work with. And I'm going to show you a very good headline, I think, by BuzzFeed. Now, Natasha Jokic has written this, saying, Katy Perry's new song, in her humble opinion, is beyond hypocritical. Yeah, maybe don't pretend you're super into women's rights while working with an alleged abuser. 
And um, I would like to say that Kesha is now finally free of her contract with her alleged rapist. And uh, she is now able to make her own music. So I will now... I am so disappointed. I am so disappointed in her. I don't want to be making this video. She's the first person I was ever a fan of in my life. She's arguably probably one of the reasons why I want to be a pop star. And so this is so disappointing to me. And I really don't want to be making this video, but I just cannot in good conscience listen to her new album. And that makes me so sad and so angry and so disillusioned, really. Because I don't understand. I think it's really important that we don't hold women accountable for men's actions. I think it's really important that we cancel the alleged rapist and not any woman who associates themselves with her. But that also doesn't excuse choosing to work with an alleged rapist because let's be really honest, she could have, she could have chosen anybody but she chose him why <laughs> why why and then i also don't want to pretend like she's the only woman who chooses to work with him and i would like to add that these accusations these whatever you want to call that have been around for a really long time like kesha started a lawsuit against him in 2014 that's a really long time ago so this is not new information this is not information that it could have come out before she chose to work with him that's not the situation Nicki Minaj has recently worked with this alleged rapist Kim Patras has recently also worked with this alleged rapist and the reason why I'm focusing on Katy Perry is because I'm a fan of Katy Perry I feel like I need to change that statement now and that is so disappointing to me <sighs> and I mean Nicki Minaj is married to an alleged rapist again don't want to hold women accountable for men's actions but I still don't understand supporting that and supporting them I just I just don't understand. You could have chosen anybody, Katie. Anybody would have jumped at the opportunity of producing your music. Why him? And this just puts into question everything that you claim to stand for. And I don't want to be making this video, but <laughs> I can't be quiet about this <sighs> so I'm just very disappointed I'm just gonna have to focus on uh, making my own music that is actually female empowerment centric and actually supportive of women and hopefully some sort of activism in that context um, and believe you me, I already have and it's already coming, but this is just, I don't even know what, I don't know how to solve this. Like it's not mine to solve, it's not my problem that I created, but it's, this is just so disappointing to me. And this is not something that I can just look past. And this is not something that is somehow something you can explain away. I've addressed all of the excuses that her fans are making for her in this video, but if you're making those excuses for yourself, saying she's under a contract with him, she's, you have no evidence to support that claim. She's Katy Perry, she could have chosen anybody. She could have chosen a female producer or any male producer. Max Martin would have been an easy choice. I'm just really disappointed.